Okay, well, let's start by calling the meeting to order at 634. Item one on our agenda is, well, I'm sorry. Liz, let's do you want to, excuse me. Yeah. Do you want to, yeah, just announce what we're doing here? Yes, this is the RTM Special Legislative Management Committee special meeting agenda via WebEx for Monday, January 24th, 2022 at 6.30 p.m. The meeting has been called to order at 6.34. And the first item on our agenda is approval of the SLMC minutes from its December 13th, 2021 meeting. Do I have a motion? So moved, Pam Iacono. Pam, and a second? No second, Jill Vergara. Thank you, and discussion? Uh, yes, Madam Chairman, Pam Iacono, I have the items for discussion. Okay. Um, I have the following amendments. Um, most of them are just process items, um, and then one correction to how a motion was actually done when I went back. Um, I just, um, in terms of form, um, had language changes that read that Chairwoman Liz Zesma from District 4 called the meeting to order at 6.31 p.m., um, that the members present, and then I list them with their district number in alphabetical order. The member that was absent was Jeff Steele. Um, I added his district number. Instead of guests, it should read also present, um, and that's marked for the town attorney. I then went and added the actual items that were on the agenda to the minutes, which were for the first section, approval of the SLMC minutes from its 12-6-21 meeting. Um, and then I added in the um, district numbers for the representatives and just um, made grammatical changes to that you know, item passed unanimously. For the second item, I changed it again to include the actual agenda item, which is populate the redistricting committee. And um, I went back and listened to the tape. The actual motion was this is written. Uh, Representative Parham, District 2, moved to appoint Hal Schwartz, District 2, Karen Wackerman, District 7, Pamela Iacono, District 8, and Karen McCormick, District 2, to the RTM redistricting committee. Um, and then it should be that Representative Iacono, District 8, seconded, and that, that item passed unanimously. For the next item, I Pam, um, again. I just want yeah. to make sure uh, in, in my um, version that I, I got from your track changes, it didn't have I, uh, your seconding. Did you add that in? Yeah, that, that I, I neglected to write that. So um, that. It should be. It should be there. I seconded it. Okay. Cindy moved it. I seconded right. it. But when I did send it, you had the track changes. I forgot to write down that part. Okay. <clears throat> um, then in the third section again, it's just the item, the um, item from the agenda, which is approval of the redistricting charge. Um, and again, here I just I added in the district numbers and um, that the item passed unanimously. That should be a colon, not a semicolon for discussion. Um, then I just wrote that there was discussion. Um, everything else is fine. And then um, I'm not sure what, there seem to be two different times for adjournment, but it's we adjourned at 6.51 p.m. Um, you actually don't need a motion to adjourn. The chair can just adjourn the meeting. Uh, and then the minutes are submitted by Cindy. So those are my recommended changes. I think we might have lost Liz. I'm just waiting to see. I texted her to see if she wants to call, try calling in before. I'm just looking at the uh, changes. I'll be right back. Okay.
when are we going to be able to meet in person? Uh, sorry, guys. Apparently, I have some sort of unknown technical issues here. Um, so I apologize for the delay. Pan, the last I heard, you were just going through the end of your um, amendments, um, and it was just on the statement regarding um, the discussion, and that's the last I heard. Oh, I just changed the wording there to said there was discussion. I didn't have any right. other changes other than you don't have to, you don't need a motion to adjourn. The chair just adjourns the meeting and you record the time and the, sub, the secretary submits. Okay. How about in like regular committee meetings? We don't do a motion to adjourn. Uh, the chair should. It's just a technical thing. There's nothing wrong with doing it. You could keep that if you want to, but I'm just saying you don't have to do it. I have, uh, may I make a motion to amend Representative Iacono's amendments? Oh, you're in like the cave, Jill. It echoed like 10 times when you spoke. Jill, I'll accept friendly amendments so you don't have to go through that all that formality. Thank you, Pam. Uh, I we need to change just um, statues to statutes. Uh, hmm. Just add a T. <laughs> and then um, nine dash four four eight should be nine dash four three eight. That's it. Thank you. I guess spell check didn't get statues and statues. <laughs> okay. Sorry guys. I'm, I think I'm still not, I'm not seeing anybody, but I think I can hear you guys and I hope you can hear me. Okay. And, and I see all the uh, amendments Matt, that Pam said him, had on the email. And anything else we need to add to that? Um, no, I just wanted to, while we're on the dis discussion, just point out that I, I didn't notice, um, and it might have been, but I just didn't look. Um, when we're submitting the draft minutes to the town clerk, they should be marked draft, and then when these are submitted, they should be marked final. Got it. I'll do that. Thank you. Um, and then just for the record, in, in reading the discussion, we were supposed to have an additional agenda item on here on our current meeting tonight to discuss the statutes and follow up with the town attorney, but we neglected to put that on an agenda. So if we could just make sure we so do that. We're still, for, so are we still just discussing the minutes to get this done first? Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm not looking to discuss that item. It's not on the agenda, Cindy. I'm bringing it up under minutes because it was oh, okay. noted there. I'm just making a note of record. Um, <clears throat> I do have a procedural question, though. If we had not heard back from Attorney Baldwin in the interim, what would we have put on the agenda? Well, any one of us could have put the agenda item back on, but none of us did. So it, it, we don't have to hear back from him. It's up to us to set the agenda and then contact him. So there should be further discussion on the statutes? According to our discussion, yes. Well, we can revisit that um, and I can reach out to him. Sure, that'd be great. Yeah, I will do that. Okay, so we have now um, your motion to amend. And now we need a motion to approve the amendments, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, we did a motion to 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 move and second, and then there were amendments. Okay. So now it's a motion to accept them. Yes. So All you right. could just call for a vote. All right. Let's. I will do that. I will call for a vote to um, uh, approve the amended minutes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I have to abstain just because I wasn't at the meeting, so. Okay, thanks, Jim. All right, so um, motion passes uh, four in favor, one abstention. 
Next item on the agenda is to populate the Senior and Disabled Tax Relief Committee. Do I have a motion for that item? I'll make a motion, Jill Ergara. Thank you, Jill. Um, I'll second that, Cindy. Madam Chairman, it's not normal proper form for the chairman to second. So if you'd like, I would be happy to do so for you. Sure, go right ahead. I'll second. Okay, so we need to uh, discuss this item and put forth our names, the members of the committee. So for um, our members are the following, Jill Vergara, District 7, Mark McDermott, District 7, and Cindy Purim, District 2. Um, I'd like to add to the motion that our representatives will be Hannah Gale, District 6, and Veronica Monahan, District 1. Okay. So um, we can call a vote to approve these members? Sure. All right. Uh, let's, let's vote on this item. And um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Hi. Uh, any objections or abstentions? Okay, this uh, item motion passes unanimously. And the last item on our agenda is to adjourn, which I can call at 646. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Thank Thanks, guys. See you. See you a little bit later. Thank you. Okay.